Okay guys, I'm in a major rush, so I need to do this quick intro, but I'm all dressed. I'll do a breakdown of my outfit later, but we have another day of shopping. I say another day because yesterday I went to Bista Village. I'm not sure if this is going to be in the same vlog or two different vlogs. Um, but I'm off to meet my friend for lunch. Then we're going to head to Selfridges and I want to buy my birthday present to myself. Um, which I think is going to be from Cartier. So I'll try and bring you along. It's Christmas Eve Eve. So this might be the worst idea we've ever had. But let's see. Yes, please. Thank you. Lovely. Look at these. Yeah, Lauren has them. Very sweet. They suit you. Yeah. I like the tortoise shell, but I feel like black is probably better. I like the one that has the big. Guys, I've literally just got drenched in the pouring rain. So please ignore the absolute state of me. I filmed a little bit when we were out, but honestly, Selfridges was absolutely hectic. Um, but I did buy myself a very lovely birthday present. So I'm gonna unbox that when I don't look like this because I wanna go into a bit more detail about that um but i did come home to two other parcels so i thought i would quickly unbox those so this parcel which is from Hyson store is from my beautiful friend emily's brand she has just brought out a new collection and one of my things for i'll say next year i'm kind of doing it now um, I want to support one of my friends' brands more um, and like independent brands a little bit more rather than like shopping at Zara all the time. So when she dropped her new collection, I just had to purchase. Um, so. Oh my God, no. My darling Georgia. Thank you so much for your order and support. Sorry, Miss Paris. There's a birthday gift from me inside. Honestly, this girl, obsessed with her. So, I'll show you what I bought. I know what she's given me. So, I bought this coat that Emily actually wore herself. And as soon as she put it on her own story, I was like, I need that. So, it's just like this cargo set. So, you've got the pants here. But when she had it on, it just looked so effortless and tailored. I just loved the fit. So I bought the pants. The quality as well is insane. It's like a super thick structured material. So I love that. Um, and then I did also get the matching shirt. Again, the quality is so good. So maybe I'll try that on tomorrow for you when I'm not looking like a little five year old soaking wet boy. Um, and then, because she was meant to come to Paris and she couldn't, she has put this absolutely beautiful black lace dress. It's not going to do it any justice here. I'll insert a photo here. It's so beautiful and I kind of wish this launched for my birthday because I would have worn this for my birthday night out. But I think I'm going to New York to celebrate my birthday with Lauren. So I think this might be my dress for that. Honestly, it's unreal. So that is my little hyphen order. And then, oh, this one, I'm not quite sure what this is. Oh, this is from on an active which is also the lovely Chrissy brand she is honestly one of the nicest humans you will ever meet and she just motivates me so much 
Um, so this is from her new Timeless collection. Like, look how insane she looks. I have been so excited for this because I've seen it on her Instagram and the pieces. But you know how much I love my gym set. So I've got that lovely little bra. It's got like the back detail there. The matching leggings. Wow, they feel so good. The jacket. Honestly, these feel so soft. And then that little top. And then I've also got the black version. I love how she knows how much I love my neutral colours. Oh, and she's also given me this, which has got the built-in bra. And it's honestly so thick and lovely. So again, I will try those on for you. But right now, I feel like I'm just going to do none of these clothes, any justice, looking like this. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I also need to get in the shower and wash my hair as I was literally rushing out the door this morning. I feel like I've been heavy on the unboxings lately and I hope that's not annoying or coming across as like me bragging. Um, obviously it was my birthday and then Christmas. So it just all comes at once. So I feel like I go through phases of not showing you anything new and then just showing you so much new stuff. But it's just this time of the year, it's always hectic. Good morning guys. I'm just about to work out, but I've got the set on from Honor Active from the Timeless Collection. So I thought I'd show you um i'll quickly show you this one i've got on then i'll work out then i will show you the other bits i've got um this is the long sleeve top it's like a mocha color i'm not actually sure if that's the official name but it's like a mocha i'm obsessed it feels so nice and silky smooth then these are the leggings again same material they fit so nicely and they just hug you in all the right places and then i have actually got the little high neck short sleeve top underneath but it's very cold in here right now um so yeah this is set number one which i'm very much a fan of i just love the color i'm about to work out in it now so i'll report back but these are the kind of sets i love to wear like day to day because they look so nice also, I think I've been bitten. <laughs> hey, I completely forgot to show you the rest of the items I got from Honor Active. So this is the black set, exact same as the previous set that I showed you. Again, it's in the seamless collection. It's super supportive and it just feels great on. Why don't we start this side? Wow! 
you've got to get it all out. Ice cream cone. Yes. Uh, hmm. I can't wait for my ice cream. guys so we are post christmas it's the day after boxing day so i hope you all had a beautiful christmas with your families or whatever you do if you don't celebrate it just hope you had a lovely few days and um, this is just going to be a random vlog for a random few days so it's not really going to be christmasy because as i mentioned before christmas is quite a hard time for me um but i did film a little bit on christmas eve my sister and my niece came around i gave her her present which was super cute i do also have a nephew but he stayed home because he was way too sick um but my sister facetimed me when she got home when he opened his present which was very sweet i like getting them their favorite gifts or their most wanted gifts um so i'm the favorite <laughs> So I always make sure my sister tells me what they want the most. So that was super sweet. I've actually just spent the last the last two days having some time off social media and catching up on my work stuff, to be honest, which I very much enjoyed. And compared to previous Christmases, I actually found this one okay. Don't know if it's because I just literally treated it like a normal day got off social media so i didn't see what everyone else was up to i don't know or maybe i've just come far <laughs> but anyway i'm looking very tired but i'm off to the gym the gym is now back open which i'm super excited for i've just eaten absolute shite and i'm all for that but i feel like ugh, i feel disgusting so i'm gonna go to the gym today probably won't do anything too crazy but i just kind of want to burn off some kind of sweat then i'm going to come home and spring clean the house and just organize i've actually made myself a list so this week up until the new year i'm going to do each room top to bottom um so i've got a very long to-do list and the house is currently a mess and i'm hoping to finish like the little odd jobs or like get things ordered so i can like finally get each room finished um, and then I'm going to work on my goals for next year. We're just going to have an organised, productive week, which I'm very excited for. But these gym leggings are honestly the nicest leggings ever. Um, actually, this whole fit is uh, Gymshark. It's just super nice. okay we are many many hours later <laughs> i look like this because sorry i've got literally those legs i look like this because i have literally <sighs> been having the biggest clear out i've not even done half the house yet but i did move around the living room <laughs> which i'll show you in a minute i think i'm going to move it back to be honest but i'm so exhausted right now i'm not doing it now um i have cleaned from top to bottom i mean only one room <laughs> but then i did start going through the hallway cupboards there's two of them i've had the biggest clear out i started the bottom room too but it's a bit all too much doing it all in one day i did actually plan to do one room per day and i've kind of just got carried away anyway let me show you the living room as i mentioned i do think i'm gonna move it back but to be honest i don't hate it I basically where's the remote let me just quickly mute one tree hill okay so I basically just swapped the sofa and the sideboard to be honest the sofa sit, fits perfectly here I kind of need to scoot that along 
and I feel like that does look better here. Still need to get rid of that chair. I need to cover this. So it's just foam, but I thought it'd make a really good plinth, so I'm gonna cover it in black. Um, the front room does look a lot bigger. And the previous tenants actually had a sofa here and a sofa here. But, yeah, I don't know. It feels nicer and it's bigger. But I think it looks better the other way round. So, yeah, I'm going to move it back. But what I think I'm going to do is get a bigger sofa. Because basically, the reason I didn't like it is that sofa looks way too small here. Because it's such a big space. So... So yeah, I think the plan is to replace this sofa. So I'll either move this into the back bedroom or I'll just sell that. Um, get like a bigger, longer sofa here. Move the sideboard back, get rid of that chair and just get like two nice chairs for here. Don't really know. Um, it does feel very cozy though in this little corner here. And obviously still need something for up there and I still need to paint the whole thing. <laughs> oh god, there's just so much to do. I also still need curtains because these sheer ones are only going are only getting me so far. But as I've mentioned previously, all the windows are gonna be replaced. So I'm just gonna wait until the windows are replaced before attempting to put curtains in. Oh, I've got pins and needles. How are we? Good morning, guys. So we are on a new day. It's, it looks like night time, but it's actually, bloody hell. <laughs> it is literally only 20 to three. What was that? As you can tell, I've still not moved the front room back around and I am going to, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for a few days purely because I'm pretty sure I pulled my back out trying to drag that big sideboard. And I kind of like it, even though everyone I've shown has said to move it back. <laughs> so I am going to, but I really want to, um, I really want to find, like, I need to sell that. I just don't know how. Um, I really want some like two armchairs and a tiny little table there. But I just can't find what I'm looking for and I don't want to move the front room back around until I have got that in case I do prefer this way with that little setup. Anyway, not why I've come on here. So I've actually got dressed and done my hair and makeup for, for the first time in what feels like a long time. As I spent in the morning cleaning, I've had a huge clear out of my bedroom drawers, the kitchen, um, not the kitchen, the bathroom cupboards. So I'm only doing room by room and it feels great. I've got rid of so much and I do actually have a lot to sell and I'm planning to put a few packages together for like, obviously I've only really got women's stuff. Um, so it's more than likely going to be to like a women's shelter. Um, I would love to donate to like women and children, especially like single mums. But I just need to do my research and try and find a place that I can donate to. Anyway, I'm going off track. The reason I'm here, it feels quite wrong going from talking about women's shelters to what I'm next going to go on to. Um, but I mentioned at the start of this video that I was going to show you what I bought myself for my birthday. Um, and I completely forgot. So here I am. Now, I don't really do luxury unboxings purely because one, I get a bit anxious about showing what I have, even though I pretty much show it on Instagram anyway. And I'm pretty sure all of us here are female, so I don't know why I worry too much about that. And... Two, I never want it to come across as bragging. Yeah, I just never know really. But as I get older and as I become like more confident in like 
my choices and myself and stuff like that. I know how hard I work. I know it's not me bragging. I just like to share these things with you. So let me know your thoughts on luxury unboxings. But this is probably the longest intro ever. I think we're currently on four minutes 20. <laughs> so I'm just gonna jump straight into it. As you would have known, it was a pretty big birthday. I turned 30 and the one thing I wanted is something that I could keep forever. Something that I can look at and be like, I've got that for my 30th. I kind of wish I've done that for every special occasion. Not just birthdays, but like big milestones. And I think it's something I'm going to try and do more because I look back and I just wish I had something sentimental or special about big moments in my life. So going forward, every like big job or big accomplishment or big occasion, I'm just gonna treat myself. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna spend thousands, <laughs> but just something that I can keep and remind me of that special time. So, I knew exactly what I wanted. I've wanted it for a very long time, but I kind of felt like I had to wait for a special occasion rather than just buy it for the sake of buying it. So I wanted to wait for my 30th birthday. And you might guess, but it comes in a beautiful little red bag and it is from Cartier. As you know me, I'm such a jewelry girl, especially love my rings. And this has been on my list for a very, very long time. And it just feels great to be able to um, have it. So I did get some money for my birthday. So I headed to Cartier. So I headed to Cartier with my friend when we went to Selfridges, which I did vlog. And I would suggest if you are going to buy a special present, go in store because I feel like experiencing it in store is a lot more special than just ordering it online. I had to go in store anyway because I didn't know my size. Um, but yeah, let me just show you. So it comes in this beautiful bag. They do actually give you a white plain bag, which I think is great. So, you, so you're not flashing around your Cartier bag walking around on the streets because no one wants to get robbed. Um, and then you get this beautiful box i'm sure you don't really care for all this uh but you do also get the little pouch i have been wearing it hence why it's not in this box and then you've got the beautiful box that comes in and as you can see i got the beautiful love ring now i got the thinner size i just think it looks more classy personally and i'm obsessed so i actually got it big enough to fit on this finger here as i recently got these rings from monica vinada to fit on this finger i just love it i'm absolutely obsessed and i can move it around it does fit on a few other fingers as well but yeah, it's just so beautiful and so special. And I'm so glad I waited for my 30th birthday to buy that. Because now it will always have a sentimental memory behind it. Right now I'm going to get back to reality and I'm going to do my taxes. <laughs> Which to be fair is completely my own fault. I've left, left them to the last minute. So I could be enjoying myself and enjoying this quiet time. But no. I've been disorganised and I'm going to finish my taxes. Also, I think I've mentioned it in before, but these earrings are from Karen Millen and I'm so obsessed. I've literally not taken them out since they arrived. They're just the perfect size and thickness. But yeah, I hope we're all having a beautiful, chilled Christmas week. I actually cannot get over the fact we are near to the new year but i'm so so ready and i'm going to do a whole reflection and a whole prep for new year kind of thing video so i will chat about it then because i feel like i've been stuck in this house for three days by myself and i've not spoken to anyone so i'm just ranting away now 